All right, this is my last surgery of 2020. What a year this was. This is a very young, vibrant woman with severe back pain reading down to the right anterior thigh. And her x-rays look pretty good. She's got a very good looking spine. She's much younger than her chronological age. But if you look at the MRI, it tells the whole story. This is L34. Look at that foraminal disc herniation. And you can see the dorsal root ganglion. On the other side, it's big. The dorsal root ganglion, the DRG, is where all the cell bodies to the nerve root is. And if you even touch that or look at that wrong, it will fire and cause severe radiculitis or sciatica pain. So look what happens here. And look at the exiting nerve root. Instead of being round or oval, it's flat. And that is the worst place you can have a disc herniation. The second worst place is in the axilla, the armpit between the traverse and the exiting nerve root. But a barolateral disc herniation touching the DRG is very painful. And she had to be admitted to the hospital for pain control and evaluation because of this dinky little disc herniation. But spine surgeons know that if it's right there, touching the DRG, it is very painful. So, the, this is the perfect surgery for a transferaminal. So we'll come in through the natural opening right at that target site. Endoscopic, which means we're gonna be able to do it through a little poke hole using the laser to shrink and ablate along with a bunch of other instruments. And this will be a laser endoscopic, transferaminal discectomy, annuloplasty, and neurolysis. Make sure that the nerve is not scarred down. We'll be able to do that through a little poke hole and be able to put a band-aid on it afterwards. And we're all hoping that by New Year's Eve, she'll be celebrating. So we're all wishing for the best because she's a very sweet lady and she's already sent her husband to me as the guinea pig for the surgery. I did his surgery a little while ago and he's doing well, so she decided, okay, I'll have my surgery done the same way. So she's not messing around. Here's the chromatodiscogram, shot and save. I'm waking, we, there it is, big leak out the back, shot. Seeking out the front too, but there's nothing out in front. All the nerves are in back. Shot and save. Oh yes, doctor. Malato. Okay, shot. So I started out with the skinny spaghetti noodle dilator and I'm making it bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what MIS is. Shot. Make a small incision and make that small incision work. Shot. Oh yeah, look how far back the disc herniation is. Shot. Because it's stopping where the disc herniation is. All right, I'm gonna have to go. Deborah. Sir. My blood pressure came up a little bit, so I had to erase the sebum. Okay. Let's see. Let me know what that affects you. I have a lot of leeway on the back. It's at point four four. Okay. So check this out. There's the nerve right there. And there's the disc herniation. It, look, it's right underneath it. So that's it. That little white thing is the nerve. This thing right here. Yeah, wow. See that? Don't, and look away. Look away. Because she's really quiet right now. That's good. I'm surprised, though. I am surprised, too. Um, I have the feet are twitching. That's four, nice. Four. It's right there. You can actually see it like that. I know. You get so much better view. With the endoscope. It's in the exact wrong spot. Oh, oh, this may be a boy. I have to take the whole scope out. Oh, wait a minute, making a mess. That's like a mouse, I'm sorry. A male mouse. You want me to save this? She's... If anybody's wondering why she's in so much pain, this is exactly why. Look at that, it's literally on the DRG. Yeah, that's soft. What I tell 
straight regular tooth here. Okay. <laughs> Get the curly cue ready. It's like my teenage son. Not gonna come out without a fight. Oh, this is gonna be a boy too. Oddly satisfying. I guess it's not that odd. Because if that was a booger, we'd all be going, ah, oh, that was a good one. If you're into that sort of thing, I mean. And let's face it, that's that TV show, Pimple Popping, I think it's really popular. Makes sense. That's the laser, as you know, one of my favorite instruments. Just because it's so pretty. And let's face it, it's magical. It is ultra precise. It makes things disappear without charring. It's non-electrical, so it doesn't conduct. It's mechanical, actually. People feel it tapping. It's like, Dr. Kim, why are you tapping on my butt? I'm like, I'm not tapping on your butt. You're not allowed to do that. But that's what it feels like. And cut. Let's see the little bulby characteristic of the nerve root. It kind of comes out like this. That's the DRG. And look what the disc herniation was. That little blue track right there. Right, it was right underneath it. So, this is a tough lady. And this is why somebody like her presents to the ER with pain because, can you uh, move your um, thingamabobber? North, Nader? Nader, can you move this north? Look at that, there's the DRG. Look at how inflamed that looks. I'm looking upside down and backwards, so if you're confused, so am I. No, this is very confusing if you're not an endoscopist. Manipulate the um, exiting nerve root, you're not getting any firing, whereas before it was just firing like crazy. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. The end. Now, I just get such a kick out of being able to put a Band-Aid on surgery because who would have guessed you can do spine surgery and put a Band-Aid from Vons down there? Well, which surgery no. is this for you? This is the laser endoscopic surgery, my favorite surgery of all time. All righty. You are my last surgery of 2020, so best wishes and Happy New Year. So here's the fragment that we got out. Look at the size of that thing, it's huge. That's my finger. Anyway, that was right underneath the nerve root, you poor thing. All right, here's the radiographic summary of the procedure. Here's the spaghetti noodle initial dilator that goes through the little poke hole and then I advance this to the disc space. And then I stick a little needle in there you can see it right here and I inject the dye down the middle and watch it leak out the back you can see it right here here you can see the big leakage out the back now and then from that little skinny dilator we make it bigger and bigger and bigger it's called serial dilation and therefore got the cannula in now now I'm just driving around all over the place, making sure that I can get everywhere all the way out to here. 